What's going on guys? Rafael Liao, pair review. Is he worth buying and is he better than a gold card? Now, Liao himself, fantastic card. Now, we know Liao, he's more of a winger. If you look at his gold card, his gold card is winger mentality. Looking at six foot two, very, very good pace, 114,000. That puts him at a very good price. Now, on the wing, he's a very, very good card. Now, is this Trailblazer card worth it? 10 times, more than 10 times the regular price of the normal card. But is he actually worth it? The biggest change here, I would say, is that he does have the playstyle rapid. Now, the rapid playstyle, as we all know, uh, is perfect for down the wing because you reach your highest sprint speed when dribbling and you have a great reduced chance of sprinting and performing knock-ons. Now, knock-ons is not the main thing because people rarely use that. They use it sometimes. The key thing is the highest sprint speed. That's what allows them to burst down the wing. Now, can this Trailblazer car do the same thing? Yes, he can, but he has the biggest change here. And the biggest change is... The finesse, the finesse shot playstyle plus. Now, if you're like me, you probably have used Sun in your team. Sun is probably one of the best gold card guards in the game. What makes Sun amazing is that he has that finesse shot playstyle and he's able to curl the ball in from multiple different angles. Now, Liao has this. Now, what this does is it makes a card that was, I would say, a good winger, now an all-around card that can finish. Because the finesse shot play style can negate everything. I kind of found this year that even though you're, you still need good finishing, of course, but if your finishing is not the best, but you have the finesse shot play style, it can be even better. Now, with this, he also has the pinged pass. Now, this is so important. Passes that travel along the ground without impacting the, the trapping, the difficulty of the receiver. If you do driven passes, this is so effective. You guys know I use Stanway. That Stanway card is incredible. You know I've talked about her. She is such an amazing card because she has a play, pinged pass playstyle plus. Even after they've nerfed it, it's amazing. And he has that because his gold card doesn't have the pinged pass. So these combinations make the card very, very effective. Then he does have... If you can see as well, he's got the regular rapid as well. So he hasn't lost anything and he does have the technical. If you look at his gold card, you can see the gold card never had the technical. So all these play styles alone are making the card worth it. The only downside is he doesn't have the best of shot power. If he had a better shot power and better long shots, then you'll be able to score those finesses outside the box. You can see from a lot of these clips, these finesses are inside the box. And that's what makes someone like Sun very effective. If we go back here to Hyung Min Sun, what makes Sun very, very effective, not the Trailblazer, by the way, that rapid play style, you're basically wasting money. We'll do a play review maybe on Sun as well. But what makes Sun so effective is that he does have the high finishing, high shot power and high long shots. Don't forget, when you take a shot outside the penalty arc, it takes into account long shots. And because Sun's got high curve, he can then deliver the finesse shot at such a good rate. The problem is Liao... He has the same ability, Liao, but the problem is he hasn't got the, the good enough stats. You can see just generally, he has a plus two across the board. He's got plus two across all the shooting. Would have been better if it was plus three. Plus two on agility and balance all the, or kind of all the dribbling. Uh, the passing a bit better and, and the pace is just plus one. So stats-wise, he hasn't got the big improvement. And that is what thing, one thing that I like about him. He hasn't got the best of long shots. Um, his curve is not ideal either. You can try to fix that with a with a chemistry style and I get over what position you should play in a second. So that is one weakness I wanted to mention about him. Although he's a very good card, the, ta the technical and he's got still a quick step and rapid pinged pass of finesse shot makes him one of the best wingers inside the game. But as I said, if you want to upgrade that finesse shot even more, um, so let's say realistically you could put a hawk on him, this makes, this makes him the ability to still play on the wing, cut inside, maintain the pace and still take that uh, finesse shot. Or you could put a dead eye on him. Increase that short passing for that ping pass. Because long shots, long passing is not really relevant. You don't improve the long shots all the, completely. But at least you get the ping passing. So you're going to be playing like that kind of like center mid or cam roll. Uh, which is not advisable. I'll explain to you why in a second. But let's say you have to. Um, or you change it into a 4-3-2-1. You want to move him in center mid. You can do that. Otherwise you can use something like a marksman. A marksman gives plus 8 on long shots. And that is probably the best you can probably get. There isn't really anything else that you can really put on. You could probably go with a sniper here. If you're just going to be using the pure long shot abuse. But I think for that at that point. I'd probably just say just go with a marksman. Marks gives you a bit of everything. And it gives you a bit of the dribbling as well. Or you can go with a dead eye if you want to. Now. Um, Hawk, as I said, maintains that for the winger. Now, we'll come over the top chemistry off your position in a second. Now, when it comes over to his dribbling, pff, he's not the best of dribblers, guys. He's going to feel very clunky on the ball. This is It doesn't really matter about his dribbling stats per se. He could have, even if you put an engine on him, this is something I need to mention to you guys. 
Even if you put something like an engine on these cards, which looks pretty good because then he can then do the, still do the pinged passing, good short pass into the middle. Because he can do now a pinged pass, driven pass from the wide area into the middle, into your striker for like a first time touch or something like that and score a goal. The thing is, he's six foot two, so he's going to feel very clunk in the ball. This is why I'm saying I'm not really, a, I'm kind of against playing him in that cam position because he's very clunky. He's not going to have that ability to play in that cam position. That is one of the things I would say that's kind of bad about him. So if you're going to be using him as a cam, his left stick is not going to be great. It's going to be decent, but it's not going to be amazing. It's for everyone. Even if you look at Cristiano Ronaldo, now this Ronaldo card, I don't know why he's so expensive. I honestly have no idea why he's 1.5. Don't get me wrong. Um, he's he's a he's a com the pace has gone up exponentially, but I don't think you know he's. <laughs> I don't think he's worth that much. Now, the Travella Playstar Plus is an absolute waste of time. Um, the normal Travella one just contextually triggers outside the foot shot passes and shots. The Plus basically is a waste of time. Um, is the card worth five, six hundred k? Yes, he is. But I know he's got amazing agility and balance now and made it much usable. But I don't think he's 1.5 mil. I think it's very, very expensive, that card. I still think he's a really good card, but he lost the power shot. So I feel like he's kind of got nerfed in some extent. Um, I don't really care about the Trivella anyway. Um, and to be honest, like, I know it's not really a Ronaldo review, um, but he does, if you look at, for example, compared to the other one, the benefit he does have it is that does have that incisive pass. So he does have that incisive, incisive pass, but again, is it the end of the world? <sighs> Probably not. So... Is Trollblazer, is he worth it? I think uh, Liao is worth it. I think if you've got the money, this is the key thing, if you've got the money, he's worth it. Are most of you going to have a million coins spare? Probably not. But if you've got a mega team and you've got a Tamori and you've got those links and you've got Ronaldo link even, then I would say he's actually not a bad addition. The thing is his stat upgrades are not that good, but the finesse shot playstyle plus makes him worth it. I would say if he's 700k, it's a good amount, 1.2. If you've got the money, if so. Um, the question is, where would you play this guy? Now, the way that I look at Liao is, I see him kind of in three positions. I see him either on the wing. That is kind of the way that I would use it most of the time. So you're playing like a 4-2-3-1, any of those positions. And that's why I think the Dead Eye would be pretty good because you can make those pinged passes into the middle. Then I think as a Lamb, a Ram, any of the 4 4 two, as a wing position, you can get that job done very well. He could also actually play in that striker role as a second striker. Up because that finesse shot play style plus makes a big difference. If you finesse the shots, it's going to make a great deal of a difference. Um, it helps with the stamina as well. You can play him as a second striker as long as you've got someone liquid next to him. Um, in that cam role, look, I'm not going to suggest. I think you still want someone a bit more liquid here. So I would say you can play either one of these two roles. The other role that you can play is, is mainly in like these unique formations like the 4-3-2-1. You could probably play as the left center forward, right center forward, but same as striker. But if you put him as a center mid getting into the box late, because he's got those finesse shot play styles, you can get on the edge of the box and score those finesse shots if you have a marksman on him. So I think he can play those roles. If you really want to abuse it, you can go with a sniper. To get it. So if you really want to play this player, put him on the edge of the box or kind of that late runner inside the box. I think you can do that role very, very well um, in a 4 3 2 1 as an attacking. And the best of all, he's got the pace well to go back and forward. He can help you and he's got the pink pass. He can make the pass from the center mid position to the striker. So you see, that's why I put him in that role. Uh, hasn't got the best of work rates, but four star, four star, he's got very much. Pretty much anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you do like in more player reviews do more of these styles as well let me know uh, thanks for watching take it easy and i'll catch you next time peace out